danger, even death. The Scorpion is a finely tuned hunter and an unflinching assassin. The Venom and its Stinger, able to subdue even the most dangerous prey. But getting past its well-earned reputation reveals that the Scorpion is an exceptional survivor, even a caring parent, with powers far beyond its notorious sting. For scorpions, survival has always been the primary motivator. 450 million years ago, when plants were first colonizing land, scorpions made their debut. These were giant aquatic creatures, their sprawling bodies supported by the shifting waters of a planet in transition. Within the next hundred million years, scorpions crawled onto land, one of the first aquatic species to become terrestrial. It was a hostile environment. Scorpions not only adapted, they flourished. As the earth cooled, they found niches to exploit. Eons passed, continents shifted, Civilizations rose and fell. In the 21st century, scorpions crawl the earth unscathed. They are living fossils, unaffected and oblivious to change. And as air conditioning now allows humans to build their homes in deserts and jungles, encounters with scorpions will only increase. Living together safely depends on understanding the habits of these remarkable animals. Scorpions now radiate across the entire planet on all major land masses except Antarctica. More than 2,000 different species have evolved to accommodate wildly differing habitats. From rainforests to mountaintops to sun-baked deserts, they've got what it takes to survive in the most severe and extreme environments. Scorpions could even feel at home in a post-nuclear wasteland. Radiation, capable of wiping out almost all other life forms, seems to have little effect on them. Wherever they find themselves, they are masters at discovering a way to meet their needs. They are continuing victors in the evolutionary arms race. As their prey has evolved defenses, the scorpion has evolved better weapons of attack. Walking across the sands of southeastern Arizona, the giant desert hairy scorpion. It's the largest scorpion in North America. In this arid environment, the desert hairy searches for its prey. Small lizards, crickets, even the tarantula. The local tarantula is a species known as the desert blonde. A tarantula's eyesight is rudimentary, not nearly keen enough to spot the partially concealed scorpion. Gripping the log with its tiny claws, the tarantula manages an escape. It's a warm, windless night, 
perfect hunting conditions for the desert scorpions. But for this tarantula, it's like navigating a minefield. On a night like this, its only hope is to find refuge in a burrow of its own. The desert hairy tunes into its surroundings, waiting to sense the smallest vibration. A slight motion behind it prompts an attack. Resistance is quashed with a quick injection of venom. The scorpion maneuvers the tarantula to consume it head first. A clue to the scorpion's survival lies in its archaic anatomy. The parts are rudimentary, but remarkably efficient. Ancient fossils show that little has changed for hundreds of millions of years. Although there are slight variations from one species to the next, the basics are always the same. The main body is covered by a hard carapace, or plate, impermeable to water and able to expand across its joints. Claws are used for capturing and crushing prey. These powerful pedipalps combine the sensitivity of antennae with the grasping ability of a pair of pliers. Chelicerae, or jaws, are like tiny pincers used for chewing and consuming prey. Their two center eyes and up to five pairs of lateral eyes provide only rudimentary vision. scorpions are sensory organs called pectines that protrude on either side underneath the body. They comb the ground, giving the scorpion chemical clues to its environment. The articulated tail and its crowning glory, the stinger. Throughout human history, the scorpion has been feared and reviled. Because they're nocturnal, their habits were always shrouded in mystery, and people assumed the worst. Scorpions were considered agents of the devil, or the underworld. And even today, few people think of scorpions as anything less than terrifying. But the truth about scorpions is only just emerging. It was in the late 1960s that a startling discovery thrust scorpion research on an enormous leap forward. All species of scorpions fluoresce under ultraviolet light. The glow is caused by a substance in the outer layer of the scorpion's body. This glowing layer is so durable that it's often found in scorpion fossils hundreds of millions of years old, and it still fluoresces. 
No one yet knows the function of this feature, but it's allowing researchers to find and study scorpions as they roam through the dark.